this is the second installment in our fitting the gate hinges video if you've seen the first video and follow the instructions then you should have the hinges fitted to the gates in this video we're going to show you how to fit the hinges to your gate post and get your gate swinging lift the gate that you've already attached the hinges to into your gateway or opening now you want to pack the gate up off the floor you want to make sure it's level um, generally you'd be packing it off the floor about two inches but certainly won't, wouldn't go any tighter than an inch for packing the gate off the floor and getting it level I tend to use folding wedges um, you basically just two wedges one on top of the other you sit the gate on these wedges you push the two wedges together and it'll lift the gate up and you pull the two wedges apart and it'll drop the gate down a bit you can if you prefer use flat packers to lift the gate up and um, folding wedges tend to give you a bit more adjustment as well as packing the gate off the floor you need to center it between your two posts um, on a single gate normally you've got about 10 mil clearance down each side of the gate so once you've got your gate and you're opening pack it off the floor the required distance and then pack it off each post to sort of wedge it in place when you work on it and give yourself the required clearances on each side of the gate the sketch on the screen now refers to a, a single gate hung between two posts. Towards the end of the video I'll show you how to hang a pair of gates. With your gate in position and packed off the floor and wedged sort of centre between the two posts, stick a spirit level on and check it for level. Normally I check for level by putting the spirit level on the, the top rail or the head of the gate, but as it's quite a narrow gate and my level is too long to do it, so I'm checking for plumb by holding the level on the, the gate style, which is the, the vertical upright and framework. If your gate's not level, then adjust it accordingly until it is level. When you're satisfied that the gate is level, slide the bottom hinge pin plate up through the hole in the bottom hinge as far as it'll go and position on the gate post. With the hinge pin plate in position, pre-drill a couple of holes for the screws and screw up to the gate post. With the bottom hinge pin secured to the gate post, move up to the top hinge pin. Now on smaller, more lightweight gates, if you're worried about anybody lifting the gate off, turn the hinge pin upside down and push it down through the hinge as far as it'll go. This stops anybody from being able to lift your gate off. Once again, with this top hinge pin in position, pre-drill a couple of the screw holes and then screw the hinge plate to the gate post. With the top hinge now secure, remove all the packers underneath and down the side of the gate and check for level. If your gate's still level, then it's a good idea just to swing it open and closed just to check that it's not catching on the floor or any other obstructions. Now it's time to drill through the hinge for the bolt that goes right the way through the gate. The bolts we're going to use are M10s, so you're going to need a 10mm drill bit and you need a drill bit that's got a spur or a point on the end. The reason for needing a drill bit with a point or a spur on the end is you do not want to drill right the way through the gate from one side. If you do this you'll split the opposite side of the gate that you're drilling from. So you want to aim to drill through the gate from one side until your spur of your drill bit just starts to protrude. Once this is protruded, take your drill bit out, go to the other side of the gate, line the spur up with the small hole that's visible, and then drill through from the opposite side to complete your hole. If you're worried about drilling too deep into the, the gate, um, then what you can do is either use a drill that's got a depth stop on, or on the drill bit, mark off the depth required with insulation tape or similar. This will then give you an idea of when your drill bit is just starting to protrude through the opposite side of the gate. So starting off on the side of the gate where the hinges are, put your drill bit onto the gate through the square bolt hole and start drilling each hole until your drill bit just starts to protrude. Once you've done this, go to the other side of the gate and line the spur of the drill bit up with the small hole that the drill bit's just made. You'll just see a small hole where the, the spurs come through. Now complete both holes by lining up the spur as I've just mentioned. And then it's time to insert the bolts through the gate. 
once you've inserted the bolts just give them a tap of the hammer and I tend to keep the the dome head of the bolts onto sort of the public side of the gate with the gate on the pavement side now stick your washer on and then your nuts and then tighten up using a 17 mil spanner now don't over tighten you don't want to pull the head of the bolt on the opposite side of the gate too far into the um, front face of the gate ideally if you've done it right the dome should just sit against the, f the front face of the gate it doesn't pull in or anything like that as it is now on the screen it's perfect now this video is mainly covered hanging a single gate if you're hanging a pair of gates then it's basically the same thing um, get one of your gates up against your post propped up off the floor and with packers between your post and your gate and fit your hinges in place when the first gate is correctly positioned and it's level and it's swinging right what you need to do is start your second gate the first gate that you've just hung put it in the closed position and put some wedges underneath it to hold it in the closed position this then gives you something to work off and you can pack the next gate that you're hanging off this off your post and then from underneath basically the same way as you've just hung the I've just shown you how to hang the single gate then it's just a question of repeating the process for the second gate as you've done for the first gate that you've just hung